Hey guys, so this is another quick tip tutorial, this time on NanoMesh and just on how to use NanoMesh and how to sort of make your lives a little bit easier by utilizing it. So first I'm going to start off with a mesh here. I've just DynaMeshed it just to get a little bit more topology. You don't have to use this exact example. I'm just using it as a general use case. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mask this off. Okay, just an area here. And first actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. So Control Shift D just to duplicate it. Okay, so I'm just going to press Control Shift E and this will give it a uh, poly group, but it'll also cut around it. So there's um, sort of these nice edges. I'm gonna press Control W just so that we have one poly group. Okay, I'm gonna delete hidden, which is under geometry, modified topology and delete hidden. I'm then gonna go to geometry and I wanna remesh this, okay? Cause that's a little too many polygons. So what I wanna do is go on here to Z remesher and bring that number all the way down, click on Z remesher and that actually worked. This is pretty cool. Um, what you can also do is click on half and you can keep clicking that and it'll keep halving the number. But we we don't need uh, too little, so we don't need that um, that little. So what we're going to do is use this. Okay, this works fine for us. I'm going to go to the Z Z modeler, which is under B Z M, I believe. Okay, I'm going to go to Insert Nano Mesh. Okay, and then Poly Group All. This will insert a Nano Mesh to all of the poly groups. So right now, in order to use Nano Mesh, if you just drag it out by default, you'll get a cube. And if you want this, that's cool, but not really something that we want. So what we're going to do is go on here to NanoMesh, and this is where you can kind of customize it. And as you can see, we have our NanoMesh right here. We can change the scale. So if you drag it out and you want to change the scale, you can definitely do that. You can change a bunch of things like the width, the height, the rotation. But what we want to do is use our own NanoMesh. And I'm going to press M for move and then select my own NanoMesh that I made. Now, if you come up, come up here, what you can do is you can select your own or create your own nano mesh, just any sort of um, mesh that you create, you can use as a nano mesh. So you can see, I just have this weird sort of rudiment, uh, rudimentary shape. And I'm just gonna come back down to our arm pad here, or shoulder pad rather, and I'm gonna click and drag out. But again, I'm gonna press M and select that um, tool that I, that I made, okay, the custom one, and I'm just gonna click and drag, okay, while I have the Z modeler active. And this will now drag this out. And you can see it's a little bit random. What we do want to do is go to Modify Topology, which is under Geometry, and then go to Align Edges. Now that helps out, but it doesn't really um, you know, give us what we want. So what we're going to do is go down to NanoMesh, and in NanoMesh we're going to go to Alignment, and then Align to Normal, and that really helps us out. Now that gives us a pattern that we can sort of work with. And you can still further um, you know, align this um, in different ways that you want. And we can obviously modify this even further. So right now we have the pattern that I created, this the custom one. And right now these are all instances, okay? So it's basically a pattern that hasn't been uh, applied yet. So we can change the size. Okay, so quite a few things we can uh, modify here. We can go with the width, we can go with the height. I usually change the height, so you can see here, now it just looks a little bit more presentable. Okay, and we can change the rotation on quite a few of these axes, okay? So the X, Y, and Z, kind of like with a plane, with a pitch, roll, and yaw. Okay, and when you're done, you can go down here, okay, and then press 1 to mesh. Okay, under inventory and 1 to mesh, and that will basically uh, solidify this and create one mesh. So I'm just going to undo that by clicking on nano mesh on. I'm going to um, uncheck that, basically. And I want to show you uh, just a few things that we can do, just to create a little bit more random uh, randomness to our uh, mesh here. I can go to polygroup and then polygroup all. And then over here, I can click on checker pattern. Okay, just click on checker pattern and you can create a checkered pattern. Um, so if you go to full coverage, if you click it, you can see and then tap alt, you can get these different patterns or colors rather. Um, you can see it's not fully checkered and that's just because of the topology. Um, so you you know, you might wanna sort that out before you do this. Um, another thing you can do is choose the random coverage and this way it'll give you a random checkered pattern. And you can see it's a little bit more varied this time around. So I'm just gonna go back to the normal poly group and then and then just click on that. And so here we have some uh, sort of randomness. And now if we go back to NanoMesh and drag that out, you'll see we have the same thing, but it's a little bit more random and it's not as repetitive. If you want that, obviously you can just keep it the way it was. And again, I'm just gonna modify all these to my liking. Again, align that to the normal. And you can also drag it out a second time. And so this is its own sort of piece. So you can have two different um, nano mesh. It doesn't have to be the same one. You can drag another one out and you can switch between them using these arrows. And of course you can modify them using the, um, the settings as well. So the rotate, the size, um, the scaling, so on and so forth. You can all do that. Okay, and just to sort of further drive home the point there, what I'm gonna do is just make a, a separate mesh here. I'm just gonna speed through this.
it's just basically something to make so that I can put into there. So I'm just going to make like a feather shape, okay? I'm just using a plane and then under the Z modeler, extruding that out with Q mesh and then again dragging this thing out. So I'm going to press M to select our new one, okay? So the feather. Okay, I'm just going to drag that out and again make sure your nano mesh, insert nano mesh. Okay, and I'm going to drag that out. And as you can see, it's flat, which is what I don't want. Um, and that's just because of the way the mesh is facing the camera. So if I go back up here and I just go to the mesh, the feather mesh, and I zoom out, you'll notice that it's facing flat on the camera. So what we want to do is rotate that so it's facing this way, right? So now it's um, facing the other way. And when we pull it out, it will pull out to this way instead. So that just has to do with the way it's facing. So if we go back here and we drag it out, Okay, again, make sure you select it, and once we drag it out, you'll now see that it's in the direction we want it to be. Okay, and of course, we're going to go down here, and we're going to just mess around with the settings. You can also mess with the offset, so just how far it is away from the surface. Change the X and Y rotation, which is what I'm doing here, and the size. And now we have just, um, you know, and a bunch of alignments that you can mess with. So here we have just a sort of piece of bird armor, I guess, you could create. And again, press 1 to mesh, and then press it twice, because here we have two different pieces, so we're going to press it twice, 1 to mesh. Okay, and there you go, you can use nano mesh to create these repeating shapes, and you can easily create like pieces of armor, and what I'm going to do next is create like a little bit of a headband here, I'm using a different shape as well, but just to kind of show you just how flexible um, nano mesh can be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to lasso, Isolate that and delete hidden, okay, because we only want this one piece to work with. We're also going to Z remesh this as well, just so it's a little bit easier to work with. And you'll see I'll click on the Z remesh and I have half selected. So I keep clicking on it and it keeps halving the number of polygons. But right now the topology is a little bit weird. It's kind of wavy. And if you want to change that, you can. There is a brush that will change that for you while you're remeshing. So I'm going to leave the remesh on same. I'm going to press B, Z, R for remesh, okay. And I'm just going to do it a little bit better here. So I'm just going to drag these lines out. They just work as long as you drag them on the topology. And so you're basically saying these are the guidelines that I want you to take when you're re-meshing re something. So don't randomly do it, right? Do it according to these guidelines. That's just a good way to Z-remesh stuff um, according to what you want the shape to be. This is a great way to re-mesh uh, re faces because obviously when you're dealing with animation, you want them to pull in certain ways. So that's good enough. You can definitely work on it a little bit more. What I'm going to do now is go to just any one of these empty cubes here or cylinders and I'm going to create um, a custom uh, subtool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've already been messing around with this. I just clicked on the ring and I just reduced the size. So that's all I did. I just took this red arrow or red cone and then pushed it all the way in. That way we have this uh, triangular shape. Okay, and this piece is just to keep it closed or open. So that's pretty cool for um, chainmail. But in this case, I'm going to push it all the way in so that we have a triangular shape because I kind of like this. And I'm just going to click on that and then just click on accept. Okay, and I'm going to scale this down so it's not too thick. Okay, and then we'll go back to our other tools here, the arm that we're working on, or the headband rather. We're going to zoom in. And just like we did with the uh, feather armor, what we're going to do is go to insert nano mesh, polygroup all. Um, and we want to make sure that we select our triangle by pressing M and then selecting it and then clicking and dragging out. And now again, the shape is a little bit weird, but that's because we haven't aligned anything. So we want to go down here to align normal, where we can mess with the size and then align normal. And now you can see that that's already working. So a really quick and easy way to get this in there. And of course, I'm just playing around with the settings. We've already done this. And there it is, just sort of a futuristic looking headband um, that you could use on your character. You can definitely use this throughout, so maybe you've got shoulder um, armor, or sorry, chest armor that you could use, definitely on the foot as well, or the legs. So it actually doesn't look too bad, and pretty simple shapes and a simple technique. So that's how you can use nano mesh to sort of um, further your sculpts and help with repeating pieces that would otherwise be a nightmare, and just to simplify it back down. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly show you how to create this armor, and it's the same steps. I'm just going to fast forward through this. So all I did was I masked off an area of the body here. I just remeshed it, as you can see, and I, I just went to the level that I wanted. So this, this isn't too bad. I would do a better job. Obviously, you can see the polygons aren't the same. And the same thing here, just I'm um, dragging it out, normalizing or aligning the normals. Okay, adjusting 
just those alignments right to something that I want okay and then all I'm doing here is just accepting that and then separating it from the mesh and here I'm just using the Z modeler and I'm just using it on the Q mesh and then poly loop and I'm just pulling out these poly loops okay just to create those borders and here basically the same thing again okay and I'm just mirror and wilding that thing and yeah that's pretty much it so as you can see it's really quickly you can really quickly create um, armor just with that and it actually looks kind of professional as well so a game ready almost so or a pretty simple way to create armor there really really quickly um so armor could use just a little bit more work but as you can see that was really quick and i pretty much did that in less than 10 minutes so even five minutes i think okay and that's pretty much it for this one so give the video a like if you liked it dislike it if you didn't let me know in the comment section what you guys thought maybe check out my twitter i do sort of upload every couple of uh, every couple of days just depending on what i'm sculpting so i'll give you updates on that and if you really like my content on youtube maybe subscribe and yeah let me know what you guys thought in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next one